Hello and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali. In today's video, we will see how to use various functions in narrative reporting applications. So let's go to our NR application. Okay, so I have done the basic steps of establishing the connection and creating the data source. Let's go to reports. So basically, I have prepared three reports here in which I have used three different functions. So I have named it by the name of the respective functions to easily identify if then function in this report, I have used if then function in this one, I have used percent of total and in this one, I have used some function. All right. So in some function, we are going to add the amounts from two different columns. In percent of total, we will calculate the percentage of the amounts and in if then function, we are going to create the if conditions. So I've already created the report by using these functions. Let's go and check one by one. So in this report, I have used the sum function. So for my account, I have taken children of this account. I have taken two entities, 110 and 111, so that I can add these two columns in column number C. And this is the formula column. We just right click on column B, insert after, and then we insert the formula column. So this is how I have added column number C. All right. So I'll show you the report first, and then we'll see how the calculation is done so these are basically the two columns and these are the accounts these are the entities so on this intersection i have the this amount and on this intersection i have this amount so this is getting added up to column number c all right 45 lakh 50 thousand plus 11 lakh 50 thousand comes to 57 lakh and similarly for the other accounts as well so how the application calculates this these values Let's see this. So in formula column, click here. And from here, I have chosen the custom formula. All right. So in this, the formula is sum of A and B. That means the sum of column A and column B. All right. So from the summation sign, which is the formula function, from here, we can use various formulas whichever suits our report and whichever uh, is our requirement okay so i have chosen some so let's check another formula let's go with max function in this i want the maximum of amount either a or b whichever is maximum so just put the bracket here comma bracket open bracket close and remove this in the current report, it is doing the summation of column, column A and column B, sum of column A and column B. Okay. So by using max function, we can define the values like whichever is the maximum value out of column A and out of column B. Validate this. Then preview it. So as we can see here in column number C, we can see the maximum of the two columns. In this column number A amount, A's amount is maximum. In this column number B's amount is maximum and this goes on, all right? So now let's move towards our net next function. Just close this. Okay. Now let's go and check the percentage of total function. All right. So in this report, I have the revenue from various entities. From North Channel, from Consumer, Medical, Electronic, Staples. And this is 110 entity. I have the amounts. Let's go and check first. And then I'll tell you about the formula percent of total. All right. So this is the total revenue from North Channel, Consumer Channel, uh, Medical, Electronics and Staples. 
So this is the total amount and these are the percentages. Let's go and check the formula for percent of total. All right. So this is the formula column, column number B. So what I have done is this is the total revenue amount here at this intersection at A1 intersection. This is the total revenue from all of these. All right. So in formula, place the cursor over here, choose custom formula. Okay, so I have uh, given the formula percent of total in brackets A and A1 from the formula functions, select percent of total this and then in brackets put A because this is the column and we want to see the total of, uh, sorry, we want to see the total of all these with the total amount of revenue. All right. So this is percent total of A, in what this function will do, this will divide this amount of North Channel with the total amount which is in the column A1, which is here, okay. So let's preview this. So as we can see here, 14%, let go, let's go to our Excel sheet and check. So this is the amount of North Channel, which is 4,50,000. This is 4,50,000. The total revenue is 32,9,500. So when we divide these two figures and get the percent value, we'll see this amount of 14%. So as we can see here, the total, the percent amount as 14%. And similarly, it goes for other channels. All right. Save this and then close. Now let's move towards our function if then. In which we are going to create conditions. All right. So here. In accounts, I have these accounts. In entity, I have taken two entities, 110 and 111. And these are the rest other POVs. Okay. So in column number C, I have used the formula. This is my formula column. So this is my condition over here. If then A is greater than 25, uh, sorry, 2,50,000, then select A otherwise B. So this is my condition. So click on formula function. Click on if then statement. Suppose if I want to check this condition for column number B, I'm going to do uh, in place of A, I'll write B and here B and A. Okay, first here I will write B and then in place of B, I'll write A if I'm going to check this condition for B. So I have done this condition, I have checked this condition for A column, for this column. So let's preview this. Okay, so for these accounts and this entity, we are going to check this condition. So in column number A, so this formula is checking the condition for A. If A, the value of column A is greater than 2,50,000, in column number C, we'll see the amount for A only. Otherwise, it will uh, put the amount for from column B. So in first case, in column number 1, we have 45,50,000. In column number B, we have 11,50,000. But the column number A, this amount is greater than 2,50,000. Therefore, here is the amount of 45,50,000. Then in next case, since this 50,000 amount is less than 2,50,000, therefore, this column number C is not showing the amount from column number A. It is showing the amount from column number B. And the, uh, in other accounts also, and all these intersections, it is performing the same calculation. All right. Save this and close this. 
So this is how you can use various functions in narrative reporting to create the report. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.